hi everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm going to show you how I achieved this kind of rose gold coppery daytime smoky eye as per usual I'm starting with my eyes so that I don't ruin a perfected base taking whatever eyeshadow primer I had in my drawer there I think it was a Lorac one and blending it across my lids with a beauty blender and then mattifying that sticky base down with just a plain skin colored eyeshadow even a face powder would do the trick In this video, I'm going to be using the Body Shops eyeshadow palette in the color Grooving Gold, which you see the colors in this. They are absolutely phenomenal. Oh my God, look at them. Just look at them, they're gorgeous. In today's video, I'm going to be using these two shades right here. Starting off with a crease color, I just took a mid to light toned brown and just popping that in my crease with a large fluffy brush. Then going in with this lighter shade and just using my finger and patting that all over the eyelid up as far as where I put that crease cutter. Doesn't have to be specific. And then blending it out with that exact same fluffy brush I used before. Then using a smaller blending brush, this is Sigma's E25, going in with a darker colour and just basically stamping the colour in the outer V in the shape you can see here. So I just go back again and again until I have the intensity of colour that I want. And once I have the intensity I want, back in with the fluffy blender and blending that out again. and more building and blending until you are happy with the intensity that you have achieved. Then going under the eye with the same fluffy brush and that darker shade, just blending and blending and blending until that looks quite well blended. Today's letter was B and the word was blending. Blend, blend, blend. Always go back and blend. And then taking an eyeliner brush like this one from Real Techniques and a generic black eyeshadow, just patting this into the roots of the lashes to give the look of like a smudgy eyeliner without the hassle of an eyeliner, because who can be dealing with dead? <music> then taking Max Eye Coal in the color Smolder, using that to line my tight line and my waterline. This looks painful, and I'm not gonna lie, it can be painful if you slip, but yeah, just be careful. <laughs> now finally time to fix up this face using Estee Lauder's Double Wear Maximum Cover and a little squidge of Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation in the color white to create my perfect shade because let's face it, I am Casper. Popping that all over my skin. As you can see, that gives me like amazingly flawless coverage. I love that foundation. Then taking Bourjois Healthy Mix Concealer in the number 51 and a Real Techniques Contour Brush, popping that under my eyes. And I squirted out a little bit too much, so what I do when I have too much concealer is I pop it on other parts of my face, like down the center of my nose, around my nostrils, my chin, and my forehead to create a highlighted look. And then of course, back in and blending all of that concealer with my beloved Beauty Blender. Couldn't live without that thing. And set all the liquid face products using Rimmel's Stay Matte Powder and a flat brush just to set it all and perfect the base. This face needs eyebrows badly. Boom! And they're on. Now taking Max Give Me Sun Mineralized Skin Finish, which is a bronzer, popping that kind of in the contour area of my face using a Sigma Tapered Face F25 brush. Just to bring a little bit of color back to my skin because let's face it, I do resemble Casper right now. The Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush and I'm using this rosy coloured here, popping that onto my cheeks and blending it backwards using a Sigma blush brush. And a little bit onto the tip of the nose as well. I have a habit of doing that and I don't know why. This is Max In Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the colour Superb, popping that onto my cheekbones with a Sigma highlighting brush. Wait till you see this, it's absolutely divine. 
and putting a tiny bit on the tip of my nose. I don't know why I do that either. I ju just think it makes you look more dewy. Now taking a small detailer brush and the color Floof from MAC, popping that onto the inner tear duct. Look at the difference this makes. It's a huge difference. Obviously curling my eyelashes and then applying some mascara. This time I'm using Rimmel's Extra Wow Lash. And there I am, showing you my wand. And this is my fail safe nude lipstick. It's Catrice's lipstick in the color Be Natural. So cheap, so comfortable, such a gorgeous color. But for this look, I didn't feel like it suited very well. So I went back in and used NYX's Butter Gloss in the color Maple Blondie to top it off and add a little bit more of a pink shade. So this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I will talk to you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.